I still don't understand why you think the EU is now in safer, even better, optimistic hands with a failed German defence minister, a failed Belgian prime minister, a former finance minister found guilty of negligence in a multi-million pound euro scandal, and a Spanish politician who's been a cheerleader for repression in Catalonia. Why is Europe in good hands with people like that? Well, the, that is a, an opinion, and certainly Ursula von der Leyen has been criticised. Uh, She's but... the second most, in the Der Spiegel poll last month, she was the second most unpopular president, uh, uh, politician in Germany. Uh, her department has been under investigation for corruption scandals and dodgy defence contracts. Was the it Spanish human? politician, who is now the EU's foreign policy man, was done for insider training. How can these you... people, how can Europe's future be safe in these people's hands? I think that the important thing to remember is that the uh, defence secretary that you are calling a failed German defence secretary... Well, it's the Germans that call her that. Well, not all Germans. Most uh, Germans do, including the Bundestag report on Germany's unpreparedness. 60% of their planes can't fly. 100% of their submarines can't take to the sea. They were sent the German army into the Arctic NATO exercise with broomsticks for guns. That's the woman who's now president of the European Commission.